So I just got home um, just for a reading vlog. Oh yeah, hi, I'm doing a reading vlog. Hi, welcome. I am so burnt from that previous clips. It was Warped Tour in Toronto. Um, it was a lot of fun. The highlights were definitely the amenity affliction, Ice Nine Kills, and Motionless and White. Yeah. But um, for a reading update, I am about 160 pages into Escaping from Houdini, so I'm almost halfway through. Um, I'm enjoying that one. It's getting brutal right now, so that's a interesting time. My bag fell. So, yeah, just wanted to update you guys, but yes. Hey guys, it's Julia. I need to fix this, but whatever. So, today is the next day. I, for reading, not much has happened. Lovely. Um, I am going to go out today for some appointments. I did some work this morning, so I'm gonna get my nails done as well. So this is like the before, and then we'll see what the after is. Um, I'm hoping maybe to start an audiobook. I'm not exactly sure what I wanna start, but I do wanna start something because Escaping from Houdini is taking me a bit, but like, I'm not mad about it. I'm just like, okay. I don't know, I'm so weird about it. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later with another update. I got to update you guys on the fact that I did read two poetry collections. I, it was a few days ago, and I probably should have said it in my last vlog, but I don't, I totally forgot. But basically I read Bloom. Um, this one I really liked, I gave it four stars. I really like this author's other collection as well. So like, the, these are the two he's released. Such a good job, I really like this. I read it on Scribd. Um, and then the second one I was a reread, and it was Elegidonic by R.H. Sen. I liked this one better the first time than the first time, like a 3.75. First time I gave it like 3.5. But yes, that's all I want to say. Hello, it is the next day. Um, reading. Not much progress. But I mean, I did start the audiobook for the new Shadowhunter novellas, and I listened to like, I don't know, 20 minutes of that. Not much at all, but it's only an hour. Meow. Um... So I hope to listen to finish that today, hopefully. Um, I'm out all day, so I'm hanging out with friends. So we'll see when I have time to do that. Escaping from Houdini, I'm still about halfway through. Gotta finish it. I think I'm gonna challenge myself to read like 100 pages of that today, finish the audiobook, even though I'm busy, and then go from there. Because like this like slower paced reading, I just don't like it <laughs> that much. Like it's okay. But like I like when I'm going through books like this because I don't know I just prefer it I don't know but currently oh yeah nails update they I got little blue coffin nails so yeah I really like them they're real cute real cute I like them a lot the person who does my nails is like the sweetest nugget anyways should I be like super cool you can see all the bras in the back and you can see a sweater lovely should I be all beauty grew and be like outfit of the day so <laughs> look how bad my burns are 
like hello and like you could see from the concert I was at the wristband where it was look at that <laughs> I'm like mm, nice So it has been a day. Is this even focused? I've been playing around with my camera settings because I was taking photos and now I'm like trying to get it back to the way it was. Okay. So um, for an update, I read I Hope, I believe it's called by with 300 Reasons I Hope by INS Thompson. I don't remember the full title, but it was really good. Um, it was, well, it was okay. I just, it was a quick read. I gave it 3.5 stars. Red Son of Dawn by Cassandra Clare. This is one of the novellas. I listened to the audiobook. I finally finished it and it was really good. I really enjoyed it. Um, I liked the concept of this one. I gave it 3.5 as well. So two more books that are down. Um, both 3.5 kind of reads for me. But yes, I'm still reading Escaping from Houdini. We'll see how that goes. I'm taking my time with it, but that's okay that's okay guys okay, so it is the it is monday actually so i'm going to be ending this vlog here sorry it was kind of like all over the place i'm hoping to at least help like it's decent and the clips are okay and i'm gonna try to edit it as much as i can so that is okay um i kind of feel worried about the vlog i don't know but so for a reading update did i finish the book no <laughs> did i read another book Absolutely. So apparently I was in a poetry mood, so I decided to reread The Sun and Her Flowers by Ruby Kaur. Um, I really enjoyed it. The pink tabs are my reread and the yellow ones are my first read. And again, really enjoyed this. It does have some trigger warnings, so be aware of that. Um, it talks about sexual assault, um, heartbreak, relationships, immigration, and it's just very important and I really liked rereading it and yes that's all I have to say about that one but I gave this like a 4.5 it is one of my favorite collections I didn't like milk and honey but I love this one so yeah so if you made it to the end of this vlog comment a cat um what else I'll see you in my next reading vlog I'll see you in another video I hope you guys had a good week let me know down below comment subscribe check out my social medias down below <laughs> do all the jazz if you feel like it and i'll see you all super soon with a new video bye